everybody. So I wanted to talk about something that has been a big revelation for me this year. Um, I've talked quite a bit about how I have struggled through the years with various different bouts of acne, whether it's been quite severe or it's just been a um, small breakout um, or just dealing with everyday congestion. As somebody that spends a lot of time in front of the camera, I'm having a lot of makeup put on me. And as a beauty lover, I find myself trying a lot of different things. My skin had actually been really incredible through my pregnancy. Um, and after his birth in 2017, about six months later, I noticed that I was getting an enormous amount of congestion um, in my skin. These were like closed condone, I think that's how you say closed pores um, and just like a lot of little bumps. I'd go for a facial, I'd have um, uh, I'd have them extracted, and then within a matter of days, I was seeing that it was building up again. I just felt so insecure about my skin. Um, people were commenting on it, and you know anybody that struggled with acne, whether it's a small breakout, whether it's severe, will know that it really is something that um, can emotionally affect you um, on the inside as well as on the outside. And so, I really wanted to talk to you a little bit about non-comedogenic, and I want to preface that by just starting to say that I'm still learning about this. Um, so be kind. <laughs> Um, and I really want to preface it by saying that um, this is the research that I've done, these are the products that work for me. So a lot of people actually don't know what non-comedogenic means and um, I'm going to explain it in the best way I can. Comedogenic ingredients are pore aggravators essentially, that's the, really the best way of putting it. And I also want to preface this by saying that even if a product says it's non-comedogenic or it's oil free, it might not actually be that. Um, and I want to just um, share with you um, a couple of websites that I go to to check um, if the products are non-comedogenic. Um, there's a really great website called Acne Clinic NYC and you can basically copy and paste the ingredient list from your product into the box and it will tell you right away if this product is okay for you to use or if this product has a comedogenic ingredient in it. On those websites you can really start to sort of see what ingredients are doing to your skin? Are they clogging your pores? Is it good for hydration? Is it tackling um, brown spots? And you can really start to do your own research and discover what the ingredients in your skincare and in your makeup is really doing for you, the pros and the cons. So at the beginning of this year, when a friend of mine recommended to me to see a facialist in LA called Biba D'Souza, she gives you this guide, which is a list of all of the comedogenic um, ingredients that uh, we find in our skincare and makeup. So some of the worst offenders are ingredients like algae extract, algin, argan oil, corella, coconut oil, cocoa butter, kelp, uh, mink oil, mysteric acid, red algae. There is just a long, long list. So that being said, I want to walk you through some of the skincare products that I use and some of the products that I've been using over the last uh, 10 months or so that have really, really helped me. One of the things I also wanted to mention was this book. This book is called Acne RX um, and it's by a doctor who passed away recently, Dr. James E. Fulton. And so this book really gave me a deeper understanding into acne. Um, and it really helped kind of bury a lot of myths that are surrounding acne um, and uh, with that knowledge has kind of really empowered me in my choices for my skincare products. So without further ado, I start every morning um, with this product from Is Clinical. I've talked about this product many times before. It is their cleansing complex. This is in a professional size. I'm such a big fan of this cleansing complex. It has a kind of low lather to it. Um, it's incredibly gentle, great for removing makeup or starting the day. It doesn't strip the skin. It has a little bit of salicylic acid in it. And salicylic acid is great for resurfacing the skin. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more 
on some of the ingredients that I do look for in my skincare products like lactic acid, glycolic acid, the AHAs as they are called. It is a clear lightweight formula um, and it's gentle enough for kind of hypersensitive skin and really can be used for all skin types. So if you have acne, you don't have acne, you have dry skin, you have oily skin, I really do recommend this cleansing complex. Uh, another one of my favorite cleansers that I've been using actually re uh, recently is um, this Purity Clean Cleanser from Cosmetics. It's an exfoliating cleanser. It has a little bit of lactic acid in it. Um, I actually like to keep this in my shower and I use it in the evening. It has a really uh, sort of almost like tingling like effect to it, but quite gentle. Um, and again, I look for uh, products that have perhaps salicylic acid in them, lactic acid, glycolic acid, as these acids are really going to help kind of resurface um, and strip the skin of dead skin cells. So they have that exfoliating quality to them, which is something that is important to do when you do have acne. Um, the most recent skincare product that I have been using, um, actually I recently discovered these maybe about a month ago, um, is these Zo Skin Health um, oil control pads by uh, a doctor called Dr. Abaji. He's a dermatologist um, here in Los Angeles. Um, these are little peel, like little sort of peel pads. Um, I like to use these in the evening after I've cleansed my skin. I'll use this all over my face and neck area, around my nose, my forehead. So the benefits of these pads is that they remove dead skin cells and remove any dirt or impurities upon the skin. And the salicylic acid in them um, provides an acne treatment. And then it has this really kind of uh, cooling, like tingling effect as well. So I feel like my skin is so clean after these. I I've been using them every evening for the last month and really seen a kind of evenness in my skin and when I wake up in the morning my skin actually has like an even more evenness in tone and color uh, so I've been a big big fan of these another product that I've been using for quite some time now is another is clinical product this is their super serum I love this product because it is loaded with vitamin C so it's important for me with my skin as I'm using um, salicylic acid glycolic acid lactic acid that I'm also replenishing my skin and giving it a lot of hydration um, and giving it the nutrients that it needs so it safely brightens the skin and it helps anybody with uneven skin tone which is me and it also helps uh, in reducing of any fine lines or pigmentation. So I actually like to apply this in the morning um, and what I do is I add it into the Is Clinical Hydra Cool Serum. So I'm just going to apply a little bit in my hand so you can see uh, the colour and the texture. It is a gel like texture you can see. I'm going to try not to dribble this everywhere but it's a light blue color um, and a gel texture and really does what it says on the tin which is um, hydrates in a really cooling way um, for somebody like myself that has uh, congested skin gel moisturizers are actually really really great for me and um, what I will do is then take the super serum and um, with the dropper apply three to four little drops into the hydrocool uh, serum and then um, I just rub it into my hands and actually instead of smoothing it all over my face um, I like to kind of tap it push it into my skin and just spend you know a minute kind of really working it in less in a sort of circular way that we typically apply moisturizer more just about patting um, into the areas. I can't say enough good things about this product. I've been using it for about six years now and it's been really great for me uh, with my skin issues. So the last product I'm going to show you from Is Clinical is a product that I've talked about plenty over the years. It is their active serum. This is their most popular product that they have in their range. Um, this is a great product for me uh, to combat any congestion that I have. Also helps in the reduction of any fine lines or hyperpigmentation. And really helps kind of diminish the appearance of like an uneven skin tone. It smooths and it softens the skin and uh, it has a kind of like tingling like effect. 
and I probably use this about three times a week in the evening before I apply any moisturizer. Uh, it's a little bit of uh, an investment product, but really, really, truly has changed my skin over the years and I can't live without it. Um, as you've seen, I have mentioned quite a few of the Is Clinical products. Um, this is not an ad. Uh, the products uh, have been sent to me uh, by the brand, um, but I can truly say that when I discovered this brand about six or seven years ago, I became a fan immediately and have seen such incredible results using the products. Okay, so I had a question from um, Nur Madam. What are your favorite non-comedogenic moisturizers? So I'm gonna show you three of my favorites that I've been using. So one of my favorite moisturizers is from Biba. Uh, Biba is my facialist I mentioned earlier and this is uh, her daily moisturizer. It is a botanical moisturizer perfect for daily use hence the name um, and it is really lightweight so for me I really like this because it's not a heavy cream it's great under makeup and just super easy to use every day. I don't have to think about it. it has a really kind of nice uh, citrusy scent to it, and I've been uh, using that over the last year or last 10 months since I met Bieber um, and seen just great results. I feel like my skin is hydrated, but it's not greasy, it's not oily, I don't feel like it's really heavy. Um, so that is one. The second moisturizer I use from Biba is a moisturizer that she recently launched. It is her Cream B. And this I would describe um, as being a thick cream. This has a lot of body to it and I like to use this in the evening because it is a little bit heavier. It is great for all skin types and I know with Biba whatever products that she recommends are of course going to be non-comedogenic. It is water-based hydration and it has structured barrier protection. Um, it also has like anti-wrinkle firming peptides in it. So I like to wear this in the evening if I feel uh, like my skin is a little bit dry. You can really see um, how thick that is, but it's really lovely and smooth. And I love this because the daily moisturizer that I mentioned before is a much lighter moisturizer. So on those evenings when I wanna feel like I have a bit more of a luxurious cream on, uh, something that's really hydrating and thick, this um, really complements that. And then um, another moisturizer that I recently discovered is by SkinCeuticals. It's their Triple Lipid Restore uh, 242. Um, Katie Jane Hughes recommended me to this. She said that everybody that she has recommended to has been loving it um, and it has like a real replenishment treatment to it. So the last product I'm going to mention is this SPF 50 by Image Skincare. Uh, this is a daily ultimate protection moisturizer essentially so it can work as an SPF but also as a moisturizer. I wear this of course every day in the summer or any days that I know I'm going to be exposed to the sun and this is one SPF that I found really really works for me underneath my makeup. So one of the um, challenges that I do face is that some of my favorite makeup products have ingredients in them that are on this list. So therefore, my skincare routine, I am really diligent about. Every product that now touches my skin has been uh, cross-checked by this list, has been approved by Bieber herself, um, and so I really wanted to share those with you. And the rest of the time, I really try my very best. I would say I have like an 80-20 rule when it comes to makeup products, um, but I have seen a vast, vast improvement from really just changing my skincare regime alone. And so the 80-20 ratio really works for me and I've seen massive improvement with it, but um, it's different for everybody. For some people, you might have to be more diligent with it and for others, less so. So that's it. So those are my favorite non-comedogenic skincare products. I hope you guys found this helpful. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts. What are your favorite skincare products that are non-comedogenic? What are your favorite makeup products that are non-comedogenic? And, and let me know if any of you have had the same issues or any websites that you know of that have really helped you, any books. Um, I'm really, really curious and I hope you enjoyed watching.